Good morning, Amber. How come you are here so early in the morning? Miss Lucy, I need your help. Sure, Amber. Tell me, how can I help you? Today is Sandy's birthday and I want to give him a gift. But I don't have any money. Can you give me any idea about what I can give him? Why don't you make him a painting, Amber? Mm, I don't know how to paint. Hmm, I have an idea. Do you like this painting? Yes, it's beautiful. I have made it by pasting different plain shapes on the acyl. Would you like to make such a painting with plain shapes to gift Sandy? I would love to make such a painting for Sandy. But first, I want to know more about plain shapes. Squares, rectangles, triangle and circles are plain shapes because they are flat. Would you like to know about the properties of these plane shapes before we make your painting? That would be wonderful, Miss Lucy. A square has four equal sides and Four corners. A rectangle has four sides and four corners. A triangle has three sides and three corners. A circle does not have sides and corners. Thanks for telling me about shapes, Miss Lucy. Now please show me how to make a painting with these shapes. Now, Amber, we will make a house with shapes. This box has sheets of paper cut out in the form of the four plain shapes. I have squares, rectangles, triangles and circles. Now the shape of a house wall is usually a rectangle. So I will paste a rectangle on the sheet. You must have noticed that the roof of a cottage is often like a triangle. So, I will use a triangle for the roof. We will use squares for windows as the windows of some houses are square in shape. We will use a rectangle for the door. And look! Your house of shapes is ready. Wow! The house was easy to make. Miss Lucy, the painting looks a little dull. Can I add a picture of the sun to make it bright? Of course! The sun is like a circle. So, I will use a circle for the sun. Now the picture is perfect. I will wrap it up and gift it to Sandy. I hope he will like it. 
Oh, I am sure he will. Bye, Miss Lucy. See you at Sandy's birthday party. Miss Lucy, thanks for coming to my home to teach me drawing. Hey, Amber, don't you want to learn more about drawing? Miss Lucy is going to teach something new today. Actually, I want to ask Miss Lucy a question. You said that the shape of a house wall is usually a rectangle. And the shape of a cottage roof is often a triangle. Is it possible to find the shapes of objects we use in our daily life? Yes. There is a very simple way to find the shapes of objects. It is called tracing. Tracing is done by drawing the outlines of objects. Would you too like to learn some tracing today? Yes! Okay then. Amber, come here. We start tracing this pencil box by placing the crayon on any side of the box. The crayon should touch the side of the box. Now, draw the sides of the box by keeping the crayon near the box such that it is touching the box all the time. Remember that you should not lift the crayon till the tracing is complete. Can you recognize the shape? Yes, Miss Lucy. It is a rectangle. Now, why don't you trace this coin and see what shape you get? Hey, this is a circle. I want to trace my lunchbox now. Wow! The tracing of Sandy's lunchbox is a square. I am so happy to know about tracing, Miss Lucy. It really helps us to find the hidden shapes in objects around us. I think that both of you have understood that tracing can help you find the shapes of objects. Now, I would like you to answer a question about tracing shapes. Amber and Sandy, look carefully at this box of biscuits. Can you guess which shape you will get if you trace the box? Will it be shape 1 or shape 2? I think shape 1 is the right shape because if I trace the box, I will get a square. No, no. I think that shape 2 is the correct answer. The tracing of this box should be a rectangle. Actually, both of you are correct. Sometimes, tracing the same object can give you more than one shape. I will show you how. If I use the label side of the box to trace, 
I get a square. But if I use the thinner side of the box to trace, I get a rectangle. Take a look. Wow! That's just like magic, Miss Lucy. Can you show us some more tracings like this one? I have a better idea. Sandy and you can trace an object to give two different shapes. Here, Amber, try tracing this paperweight to get a shape. I've got a triangle. Now it's your turn, Sandy. Wow! I've got a square. Well done! I hope you have understood that you can get different shapes by tracing different sides of an object. Yes! Thanks for teaching us about tracings, Miss Lucy. Now Sandy and I will go and trace some more objects. Bye-bye! I am sure you want to try your hand at tracing different objects now but before you start let us look at the important points about basic shapes the basic plane shapes are square rectangle triangle and circle many objects we see and use in daily life have basic shapes we can identify the shape of an object by tracing it. We trace an object by drawing a line around it. You may get different shapes when you trace different sides of the same object. 